Today we're going to show you some new improvements to our API we've been working on. We've seen some absolutely fantastic custom apps coming out of our MSPs using our API. We wanted to make things even more accessible to the point anyone could easily hop in, test out some code, and get some live results. To start, we've added a link directly to our API resources at the bottom of your admin settings. From here, this will take you to our API pages. You'll see a full list of every endpoint which we expose, and this also includes a bunch of new endpoints we've recently added. In fact, this page will now be updated in real time the moment we add or change an endpoint. The first thing you'll do is add your Synchro subdomain, and then you'll authorize the use of the API with your API key, which can be found in your user profile. Now if you open up any of these endpoints, you'll see a full list of the parameters which they accept, and if you scroll down, you'll see an example response so you know exactly how this information is returned. Now that's useful in and of itself, but we wanted to take this to the next level by allowing you to execute code right from this page, so you don't have to worry about testing API calls in a custom app you may not have built yet. So up here, in the right hand corner of every endpoint, you'll see a try it out button. Clicking that will allow you to enter values for any parameters and make a live API call to your Synchro instance. So let's test a quick one here. Let's say I'm working on a custom app and I have it loading all of my existing customers. The next step would be to load any given customer's associated contacts. So we'll do this by simply searching for a single customer by name and we'll execute the request. You'll immediately see the request that was made both in curl and HTTP formats so you don't have to spend the time forming these yourselves. Now you can also see the full response body. This is identical to what your custom app will see when making these calls. If I scroll all the way down to the bottom here, you can see that I have one total entry, which is what we were expecting. So here we have all of this particular customer's information, and if I scroll down further, you'll see an array of contacts as well. This was the information we were aiming for. You'll see that this response includes two contacts for this customer, one set of information for Maria and another for Max. You can even download the JSON response to test the result in your own app directly if you wanted to. So that's the new changes we made to our API. We've absolutely loved what we've seen so far and we can't wait to see what you create next.